गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विथ फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ एनिमल किंगडम ऑफ एलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेमी कॉड्रेटा कॉड्रेटा क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कॉड्रेटा दैट इज यूरो कॉड्रेटा सिफेलो कॉड्रेटा एंड वर्टिब्रेटा इन वर्टिब्रेटा वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस साइक्लोस्टोमा कॉन्ड्रिकथिस एंड ऑस्टिकथिस सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज अबाउट हेमी कॉड्रेटा हेमी कॉड्रेटा कंसिस्ट ऑफ सॉफ्ट एंड अनसेगमेंटेड स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ वॉर्म लाइक मेराइन एनिमल्स दे हैव ऑर्गेन सिस्टम लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेमेट्री इज बायोलेट्रल जर्म लेयर्स आर ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक एंड बॉडी कैविटी इज अ ट्रू सिलोम द बॉडी ऑफ हेमी कॉड्रेटा मेंबर्स आर divided into anterior proboscis a collar and a long trunk and it is cylindrical circulatory system is of open type with colorless blood respiration occurs by a pair to numerous pairs of gill slits or through general body surface also excretory system consist of a proboscis gland or glomerulus sexes are mostly separate that is dioecious and fertilization is external development is indirect that includes a free swimming larva common members are balanoglossus and sacoglossus in the given figure you may observe balanoglossus you can see here proboscis collar and trunk this is sacoglossus here you can see that how small this worm is now it is about quadrata quadrates are characterized by presence of a notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and pharyngeal gill slits quadrates are also bilateral triploblastic and coelomate they have also organ system level of organization there is presence of post anal tail and circulatory system is closed here it is a table that shows comparison of quadrates and non quadrates in quadrates notochord present whereas in non quadrates notochord is absent in quadrates central nervous system is dorsal hollow and single whereas in non quadrate central nervous system is ventral solid and or double in quadrates pharynx perforated by gill slit whereas in non quadrates gill slit are absent in quadrates heart is ventral whereas in non quadrate heart is dorsal if it is present in quadrates a post anal part that is tail is present whereas post anal tail is absent in non quadrate now let us uh, see about the classification of quadrata quadrata is classified into three sub phyla namely euro quadrata or tunicata cephalo quadrata and vertebrata euro quadrata and cephalo quadrata are called as proto quadrates in euro quadrata noto cord is present only in larval tail and are exclusively marine common members are acidia salpa and doliolum in the given figure you may observe the members of euro quadrate mnemonic to remember example of euro quadrate is sadhu s a d h u where s stands for salpa a for acidia d for doliolum h for hadmania and u for euro quadrate so by this mnemonic you can easily memorize the members of euro quadrata now it is about cephalo quadrate In this case notochord extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life and are also exclusively marine 
common example is branchiostoma that is amphioxus here it is branchiostoma figure now let us see about vertebrata in case of vertebrata notochord is present during the embryonic period and it is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in adult means this notochord is replaced by cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in adult that is why all vertebrates are chordate but all chordates are not vertebrates vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two three or four chambers vertebrates have a pair of kidneys that require a high blood pressure for their working kidneys also helps in osmoregulation there is presence of paired appendages that may be in the form of fins or in the form of limbs this flow chart shows about classification of vertebrata it is broadly divided into two division that is agnetha and xanthostoma agnetha lacks jaws whereas xanthostoma bears jaw now agnetha is classified into one class that is cyclostoma stomata and uh, this xanthostomata is divided into two super classes what are the two super classes one is the pieces and other is the tetrapoda pieces we are fins and tetrapoda we are limbs further pieces are classified into two class that is chondrichthyes and osteichthyes whereas tetrapoda is divided into four classes amphibia reptilia apes and mammal now let us discuss about cyclostoma they are called round mouthed fishes and are ectoparasite on some fishes the body is long having 6 to 15 pairs of gill slits for respiration mouth is circular and it is without jaws so that is why it is called as cyclostomata paired appendages that is fins are present scales are not present the endoskeleton is cartilaginous that is made up of cartilaginous tissues there are 10 or 8 pair of cranial nerves circulatory system is of closed type the heart is two chamber having one auricle and one ventricle upper one is auricular lower one is ventricular they are marine but they migrate from for spawning to fresh water and after spawning within few days they die larva after metamorphosis return to the ocean again common examples are petromyzon and myxin that is lamprey and hagfish here you may observe the lamprey and hagfish now we will discuss about chondrichthyes they are marine with a streamlined body the endoskeleton is entirely cartilaginous mouth is located ventrally in chondrichthyes notochord is persistent throughout the life gill slits are mostly without gill cover that is operculum means operculum is absent the skin has unicellular epidermal mucus gland and dermal placoid scale that makes the skin tough teeth are present which are modified placoid scales and are backwardly directed jaws are present and are very powerful to catch the prey they constantly swim due to absence of air bladder hat is two chambered some of the members have electric organs as in torpedo and some have poisonous sting as in trigon 
they are cold blooded that is poikilothermous means they can change their body temperature according to the surrounding they are uh, they are dioecious means sexes are separate in case of males pelvic fins bear clasper fertilization is internal and many of them are viviparous that is they give birth to young ones here claspers helps in copulation purpose common example are dogfish sawfish great white shark and stingray here you can see this is the dogfish here it is sawfish it is great white shark and it is trigon now let us discuss about the last topic of today's session that is ostichthys it includes both marine and fresh water fishes with body endoskeleton uh, means bones are present instead of cartilage body is streamlined and mouth is mostly terminal the respiratory system includes four pairs of filamentous gills that is covered by an operculum on each side the skin has epidermal unicellular mucous glands and dermal cycloid or tenoid scales air bladders are present which which was absent in chondrichthys and this air bladder gives them buoyancy and enables the fish to stay at a particular depth without expending energy in swimming this helps them to conserve energy presence of two chambered heart with one auricle and one ventricle they are also cold blooded means they can also change their body temperature according to surrounding sexes are generally indistinguishable externally and uh, fertilization is generally external most uh, forms are oviparous means they lay egg and development is direct under the parental care common members are marine fishes includes flying fish sea horse and fresh water fishes includes rohu katla clarys etc few aquarium fishes are also they are fighting fish angel fish etc This figure represents about the different bony fishes that is trout, carp, golden fish, and tuna. So, children, this is all about today's session. Thank you. For any kind of doubts, please write your question in comment section.